come back to Nuffy Cat. We're so glad that you can join us today. In today's video, I want to talk about a topic that a lot of you are going to know about. <laughs> and that is how kitties pick cute kitty spots. <laughs> this little guy <laughs> always picks a cute kitty spot. Some of it. <laughs> some of it in places I approve of and some of it in places I don't if it creates kitty danger. And it looks like this is his current cute, sp cute kitty spot for the time being. <laughs> we have a very light little sprinkle going out and I think that this little guy says, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> Naphrodim specializes in picking cute kitty spots. <laughs> and have you all noticed about your kitties how stubborn they are about it? Naphrodim is quite stubborn about the spots that he picks. All three of the kitties I've taken care of as an adult of course, Nefertim, Sheba, and Kira. They've all picked their cute kitty spots and we're all quite stubborn about them. <laughs> and have you all noticed also that sometimes the kitties will rotate their cute kitty spots? Sometimes they'll they'll go, you know, they'll have, they'll have one, and I've noticed it last anywhere from like a week and a half to two weeks and then they'll rotate into another one a lot of times they'll have two or three that they pick too and they'll cycle in those throughout the day and i have even noticed correlations with times of days and which kitty cut spot he uses but he he'll sometimes also pick new ones and then after a while he'll rotate back to the old ones But why do you, the kid, why do kitties pick these? Why in the world? It makes them feel safe. I think that they also can smell their familiar scents and that also makes them feel safe. A lot of times I've noticed that the cute kitty spots are soft and in this case, this has a soft blanket right here. <laughs> Take a look at that little tail. <laughs> Halfway tucked behind a cute kitty spot here. A lot of times though, those soft, those soft cute, cute kitty spots are soft and warm for them. Their scent is there. They make them feel secure. Um, for, with him, I try to put familiar toys and things when I'm introducing a new spot because they'll have his scent on that already and that makes him feel safer. Oh yes, so as you can see in this video, we have a little breeze going. And so he's feeling safer from the breeze by having a cute kitty spot under the box. I was kind of hoping he'd go into the box. But this brings up one of my points. Kitty, cute kitties pick their own cute kitty spots. And they don't always like when we try to pick them for them. Have you guys noticed that too? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It's all right. You're all right, sweetheart. Oh, it's okay. I'm right here. There we go. Okay, well, I've noticed with his cute kitty spots that it's often at a higher location so that he can peer out and can see the whole world or it's at a lower location where he can hide. He has a little box that he likes to hide in. And that's um, really close to where his kitty food and stuff is. But he needs little spots to help him feel secure. Yes, he does. <laughs> but if you notice it with your kitties too, if you try to put them in their cute kitty spot, they won't stay. <laughs> Only they can choose when they go into their cute kitty spot. And the same is true about him. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, and if I ever dare disturb the cute kitty, then he won't be happy. He'll jump out of the spot, even if I try to put him back into it. It's like he's got to decide that it's his spot to jump into. <laughs> and then if I try to say no to the cute kitty, he'll stubbornly go right back to that spot, even if it means that he'll do so when I'm not in the room. 
Or he'll pay attention for when I've got my attention on things like headphones, you know, that well, my attention's not there, but I have my headphones on and I'm editing one of his videos. And then of course, then of course he goes back to his cute kitty spot that he thinks is the appropriate cute kitty spot. I won't let him get into dangerous spots. We had a kitty years ago who had decided the under the hood was this cute kitty spot and unfortunately that kitty ended up not making it when we were gone and had left him with someone. I was a little girl when that had happened and I've always remembered really really be careful about where we do let them stay. Always be aware of where they're at. I also live in earthquake country here and I have to be careful that the places he chooses do, uh, will not have like things that are going to fall down on him if he has an earthquake. When you have your kitties, try to pre-think all of that for them too. Although, they'll still try to make up their own mind. <laughs> so I'm curious what some of your guys' cute kitty spots are for your kitties. Where do they hang out and where do they tuck themselves into? Or where do they view the whole wide world from? Well, thank you all very much for spending this time with us today. And if you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and paw that like button. You can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bells so that you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos. Thank you so very much, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.